Yo, what's up, family? Shalom. I hope you guys have been doing well. It's been a minute, I know. I've been basically being still, family, doing what the Lord tells me to do. I've been studying, keeping up with my studies. I hope you guys have been reading the Word every day as well. Staying in prayer daily. You know, do not do not cease when it comes to prayer, family, no matter what. You know, keep in prayer for your family, your friends, for your brothers and sisters around the world. Stay in prayer. In Ezekiel chapter 13, family, we can see where the judgments, it first talks about the judgments of the false prophets, but I want to bring emphasis to the false prophetess and um, what she is and what she is like, family. I'm going to leave it on here for you to read, okay? Family, in this day and age, we see more and more of, you know, witchcraft is becoming more and more popular. People are rejecting God more and more. And they are coming to you like they know the future, like they have these vibes and they feel this energy and they feel this, this and this. And they can see signs and wonders. You know, we got to think about the people in the Bible that were even fooled by sorcerers and, and people that claim to have magic and have powers you know, um, a lot of these type of women will even use the images of their body as ways to entice and to bring charm onto other people. Um, they will use tarot cards, you know, crystal rocks, and, you know, they worship plants. They worship Mother Earth. They don't worship the creator of all things. They, they worship nature. Um, and, and look, God made nature, guys. You know, it is good for us to get out in nature and get out in the wilderness, but we are not to worship the creation. And this is what these type of women, these type of people do. But God tells you right here what's going to come to them, family. And this God right here is the same God today. Our Father in Heaven has not changed His ways, family. He does not change humans. We change. We change over time. And, we, and, and, and nowadays, you see more and more women, even young women, you know, dabbling in this stuff and thinking that it's acceptable. I used to do it, family. I used to think these things were okay until I came to the knowledge of the truth, until God revealed the truth to me. And it's like, okay, I really don't need to be messing with this stuff. And of course, people are going to call you names, man. You know, let them call you names. You'll have the last laugh in the end. But but if you've got people like this around you, family, you need to warn them of the error of their ways. You need to bring it to their attention that how you're living, what you're doing, what you think is bringing you protection and bringing you love and is bringing you the complete opposite. And 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 guys, the devil is good at rewarding these people. So it really does manipulate their brain into believing that they have power, that they have, you know, all these things that they can manifest and all this. And it's, it's a joke. They're being deceived. They're deceiving themselves. But along with deceiving themselves, they're deceiving many other people too. Guys, there's only one way and that is Yeshua, Jesus Christ. That's all you need in life. You don't need rocks and tarot cards to tell you your future. You don't need some woman. Um, you know, you don't need a sorcerer. You don't need a even someone who t fortune teller. You don't need fortune cookies. You know, you don't need these things. You don't need zodiac signs. You don't need such things. All you need to know is to know the creator of all things. And once you know that's all, that's, that's, that's all you need. You realize this is all I needed the whole time. And you almost kind of laugh when you look back at how silly you were, you know, cause like I said, I used to dabble in such things, but man, once, once I started reading the word of God and God started revealing things to me through scripture, it was like, okay, wow, I need to, I need to walk away from this. And it was some things such as music and, you know, old school movies and stuff. I still struggle with certain things, you know, letting go of certain things of this world. But it is a necessity for us to do so, family. I love you guys. Y'all stay blessed. Later.